It is everywhere. And even today, there are going to be opportunities that you're going to come up on for you to be blessed and, and, and so forth and so on. And you have to make good on that. You have to seize it when it comes. You've got to be prepared to move on it when it comes. And oftentimes, even if we recognize it, the problem is we miss it because we are too complacent, passive, and slow about acting upon what we know is a grand or great opportunity. We spend too much time pondering, procrastinating on something you know is packed with the power and potential for a great blessing. But you are slow in your to move. You're slow to act. And, and, and I hate to say it, that is a cultural dilemma that we experience. That we are too slow to act upon things that we know are sent by God or designed to bless your life. And so the spirit of procrastination robs us of a, a brilliant future. Because we always a step behind. You finally decide to call somebody. They say the time ran, ran out two days ago. But you had 15 days to respond. And you call them two days later. And we miss because we're not in the in the time. Even God has a time cycle. Yeah. And we miss it. We drag our feet. We're slow to act. <laughs> Sometimes when you decide to act, others have gotten in ahead. You know the story? man laying by the pool. Every time I get ready to get in, somebody steps in ahead of me. Well, I read that story. And of course, when Jesus got there, he asked him the same question. And he told him the same excuse. But you know what I saw in the story? He was strong enough to be here. Mm. Come on, come on, make a plane. Come on. Come with it. See, I believe if you got enough energy to beg me, mm -hmm. yeah. it takes the same amount of brain power to yes, use Lord. that energy to figure out how to get past your situation. Come on now. Come on. It's how we use this brain power. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, I understand that he was paralyzed from his waist down, but that wasn't from his waist up. Mm -hmm. So why didn't he take his hands, mm -hmm. get up off his cup, mm -hmm. and roll himself Come on now. beside the pool? Mm -hmm. And let's stick one hand in the water and yes. say, when I sense the angel present in the water trouble, I'm rolling right Come in. On now. Don't just sit there and wait for somebody to pick you up. Come on. Come on. Roll yourself by Come the pool. On now. Because you're only paralyzed from here down, not from here up. Yes. Know? Come on. So maybe your body is paralyzed from here, but your brain is not paralyzed. Lay out your situation. Yeah. 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 Woo! Help yourself. Yeah. But his spirit of procrastination say, I'm going to wait here until somebody calls. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he was waiting 38 Years. I don't know about you. I ain't got 38 years. Come on, now. Nobody. Come on. I want God to do it and I want him to do it now. So I'm going to put myself in a position to hear God when he speaks. I ain't waiting on nobody. He waited 30, 
That's almost 40 years, two decades. That's he grew old, grew old, sitting on his wall, waiting on somebody. I'm, I'm going to be nice today. It's a communion. Just like some of y'all, you're, you're, you're going you're to turn great, great. Yes, come on. Come on now.